welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to discuss on few of the questions asked for the radiographer's exam. First question, when do we celebrate Ranjan Day? A. December 8th B. November 8th C. December 18th D. November 18th So the answer is option B. November 8th World Radiography Day is celebrated on 8th of November Every year the date marks the anniversary of the discovery of X radiation by William Rogen in 1895. Second question SI unit of dose equivalent is A. Rongen R B. Rad C. Seward and D. Rem The answer is C. Seward The SI unit of exposure is Rongen R So the unit of exposure is Rongen R and the SI unit of absorbed dose is gray and its other unit is rad. The SI unit of dose equivalent is severed and its other unit is rem, rongen equivalent man. Third question. Which is not a member of electromagnetic spectrum? A. Sound B. Light C. Infrared and D. Ultraviolet So which is not a member of electromagnetic spectrum? The answer is A. Sound These are the regions of the electromagnetic spectrum. So it comprises of light, infrared and ultraviolet. So, which is not a member of the electromagnetic spectrum is sound. Fourth question. Thermoluminescent material used in TLD barge. So, which is the thermoluminescent material used in a TLD barge? A. Calcium tungstate. B. Calcium fluoride. C. Sodium iodide. D. Calcium Sulphate So the answer is D. Calcium Sulphate Disposive topped calcium sulphate phosphor is used in TLD since it is the most efficient phosphor to use in radiation dosimetry that is for monitoring the radiation both gamma or x-ray received by personal working in radiation. So a radiation worker should compulsory wear TLD barge. So the radiation worker who is uh, working in a radiation field should compulsory wear this TLD barge and it, will, it is more sensitive or efficient in monitoring the radiation. And the content or the material used in this TLD barge is calcium sulphate. Fifth question, minimum distance recommended for the safe flight from dry bench in dark room. A. 1.5 meter, B. 2 meter, C. 1 meter and D. 1.2 meter. The answer is D. 1.2 meter. The latent image produced when a radiographic film is exposed to a beam of X-ray which can be visualized only after the film is processed in the dark room. The dry bench is where the cassettes are uploaded and recharged with fresh film. So when an X-ray exposes a radiographic film in, in invisible latent image is formed and this Invisible latent image is processed into a visible image inside a dark room and inside the dark room there will be a dry bench, wet bench as well as there will be a safe light. So the question was the distance of this safe light from the dry bench 
and the answer is D 1.2 meter. Sixth question. Phosphor used in image intensifier is A. Calcium fluoride B. Calcium tungstate C. Cesium iodide D. Sodium iodide The answer is C. Cesium iodide An X-ray image intensifier or it is otherwise known as fluoroscopy that converts X-rays into visible light at higher intensity. The most modern image intensifier uses cesium iodide for the input phosphor because it has high absorption efficiency and thus reduces the patient dose. So the importance of the fluoroscopy or the image intensifier is to convert the X-rays into visible light. So the input phosphor of the intensifying screen is formed of the material cesium iodide. So the phosphor used in image intensifier is cesium iodide. Seventh question. CT scan was invented by A. Benjamin Wilson B. G. N. Hornsfield C. Gustav Bucky D. Rutherford so the answer is B. G. N. Hornsfield. Sir Godfrey Newborn Hornsfield invented CT scanner on 1972 and received Nobel Prize on 1979. Eighth question. Frequency ultrasound used in medical practice. The frequencies we are using in ultrasound is the question A 1 to 15 megahertz B 0 to 20 kilohertz C 20 to 50 megahertz D 2 to 50 kilohertz The answer is A 1 to 15 megahertz the sound waves applies to all acoustic energy with a frequency above human hearing 20,000 hertz to 20 kilohertz. Typically, diagnostic sonography scanners operate in the frequency range of 2 to 18 megahertz. So the sound waves we are using in ultrasound is above the human hearing it is, a, it is a range of 20,000 hertz or 20 kilohertz while the frequencies we are using in diagnostic ultrasound scanners will range from 2 to 18 megahertz and the answer is A 1 to 15 megahertz. Ninth question. Slip ring technology is associated with A MRI, B spiral CT scan, C. DSA and D. Ultrasound. The answer is B. Spiral CT scan. In spiral or helical CT, the slip ring technology was introduced which helps to enable the continuous rotation of the X-ray tube and the detector. So, the, with the help of the spiral CT, the X-ray tube and the detector is continuously rotating around the patient. Tenth question, CT number of water, A 0, B 20, C 50 to 20, 100, D above 100. The answer is 0. Computer tomography CT number is calculated the value reflected the X-ray attenuation coefficient in an image voxel expressed in Horsfield units HU where the CT number of water is 0 HU. Thank you so much for your patient listening. Hope you all have enjoyed the session and hope you have all got the answers for the 10 questions. I will be including more questions related with the radiographer's exams. So stay tuned for the next video or next session. Uh, 
uh, if you have to know more about this academics or more about these topics i have already included in my previous session so kindly go through that so once again thank you so much